hey y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video it's going to be my second attempt at a wash and go and i'm feeling a little bit more confident than when i first tried to do it so hopefully something shakes you know i'm gonna do them section by section now i could not find a leave-in conditioner that pairs well with this gel i'm gonna go i'm gonna be going in with the aunt jackie's don't shrink flaxseed recipe elongating curling gel i'm gonna go in with that and i'm gonna pair it up with this as i am double buttercream i already did the little test on the back of my hand to make sure that they mix well together so i won't have to go through all that flaking mess again so and i tried like two of my leave-ins already i ain't feel like testing every one of them but they flaked up with the gel so i just figured i won't use them I'm gonna soak this section pretty good I'm gonna take a little bit of the double buttercream. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the gel. And this time I'm going to be trying the shingling method. Okay. I have a little bit more hope than last time, so let's see. I'm going to just continue the same process, and I feel like this gel is pretty moisturizing. It's not drying out, but I forgot to spray my hair. You can tell I ain't used to this. Oh, I need my spray bottle back because I can't do this. In this video, it may look like I'm taking the shingling method overboard because I'm, it looked like I'm somewhat finger coiling my hair, but I'm not. It, it It's just I know my hair texture and it takes a little extra razzle dazzle to get it to do what I want it to do. Like if you guys seen my last wash and go video, you will understand that the raking method is just not enough for me because my natural curls aren't trained yet. It's not that popping yet. So it, it takes a little extra TLC in order to get my curls to shine. confidence than what I had before in the past with my last wash and go so let's see let's see let's see I don't see how y'all do this though because my arms hurt mm -mm.
Okay, so far so decent. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera because it's taking entirely too long. And yeah, but um, the only thing I changed up right now is I did go in with my tangle teaser after I applied my double buttercream and then I applied the gel and then I started doing the shingle method. But okay, I'll be back. Alrighty guys, we are back. It didn't actually take me that long. <clears throat> It didn't actually take me that long, but um, my curl pattern is like 10 times looser than my curl pattern in the back. It's not damaged or anything. And that's just the way my hair has always been pretty much. But let me give you guys a 360 before I touch it too much. Cause I touch my hair too much. I need to, I need to not do that. Now, I know with this much product on my hair, my hair is going to take, say, forever to dry. So, I think I'm going to try to diffuse it. I feel like if I let it air dry, it's going to be right here, up here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I freaking hate shrinkage. But I'm I'm about to diffuse my hair. I'm going I'm to try to do that. Um, I don't know how to do it. I never did it. But we're going to try today. I don't know if I should use hot air, cold air. I'm gonna just use warm and I don't know. I'm gonna just play around. Cause I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. And I kind of actually like this. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this a little bit. So hopefully it turns out decent. And I get some volume because I just look like, <sighs> like. So I ended up going in with warm air. First, I started off on the medium setting, I believe. And then I went up to high speed. And then I dropped it back down low because my hair felt like it was not improving. It took forever to dry. Well, my hair is somewhat dry. I would say about 40 to, I would say about 30 to 40% that my hair is dry. And I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it air dry the rest of the way. Yeah. And the back is where it's wet the most at. So we'll see how long that takes. Um, if not, then I'll just diffuse it again until it's dry. Alrighty, you guys, I am back and my hair is dry about 90%. It's dry for the most part. And I have to say, this is 0 to 100 compared to my first wash and go attempt, the first video. I link it in the cards above. So I don't like this shrunken stage. I need volume, a little bit of frizz. It don't hurt me. It may hurt some of y'all, but not me. Not not this girl. Not this girl, girl. Nope. Got my blow dryer. Got the little, little concentrating nozzles. I think that's what it's called. To stretch my hair out, I really wanted to get to the roots, so I took a clip and pinned my hair back. I only did it for this section because on the next section, I kind of was like, whatever, and I just did it free form. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad because it's not that much frizz, which I kind of don't like. I'm weird. I, I got to have a little bit of frizz because my hair still look kind of lifeless and whatnot. So, but this is just from the blow dryer. Mm, oops. Better. Okay. Now, this was not enough volume for me, so I did go in with the pick to give it some more oomph. I'm done manipulating these curls. This is the final look, I guess. I don't want to manipulate it too much because, 
yeah, I don't want to go overboard. But this is it. I was tired of turning around for y'all, but. Alrighty, you guys. Second time is a charm because this is my first successful wash and go, and it's not that bad. I may do it again. Alrighty, you guys, that is the end of today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. Just go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that red button down below, turn it gray. Subscribe. So, you, 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 subscribe. Comment down below how long it took you to perfect a wash and go. Just let me know. Alrighty, y'all. See y'all in the next one. Bye.